Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday, June 30th, 2025 is the date, 11, 11 a.m. California time here. Latest activity shows a, uh, looks like a small earthquake up into the Alaska area. Some uptick up here going on uh, throughout the early morning hours. Also back over here across Japan again. Still got uh, some activity southwest of the Nankai Trough and movement to the north here as well to the northeast along the plate boundary. Keep an eye there on the Nankai Trough. We'll get to this here in just a minute. Uh, looks like Kilauea Volcano has come to a halt once again after episode 27 uh, kicked off there yesterday. It just looks like some volcanic gases there uh, across the area as we speak. As uh, far as the deformation data goes there at Kilauea Volcano, we should be on the rebound, which we are. There's the end of the eruption, episode number 27. Short-lived, but uh, some spectacular fountain being observed. Uh, now we're going back up here in terms of inflation. Nothing new, just a rinse and repeat, cycle, uh, repeat cycle here. Something that's been going on since, uh, well, the end of last year. So it looks like we're on tap here for uh, episode 28. Oh, in, uh, oh, I'd probably say at least a week time period. We'll wait for that uh, here in the future. All right, earthquake activity. We've got some movement here across the Southern California area. In the last hour, these are all very small microquakes here. There's quite a few uh, numerous quakes on the map, but uh, again, most of those are below the 2.5 threshold. Uh, nothing there in Southern California as far as 2.5. Most of the movement above that is uh, out there across the Northern California area. Southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone once again. Uh, again, a lot of small microquake activity, but uh, nothing of any abnormal movement that I'm spotting here today. Just looks like a, a very typical day there across the uh, the state, although a little bit more active. Uh, that's uh, if I can point one thing out here. Looks like just east of the plate boundary on the North American side here, got uh, a number of earthquakes. Uh, some from today, some from yesterday, but uh, more more notable out here in this area. Uh, today than the past uh, few days or so. Of course, this is all uh, the result of strain being built up here across the uh, San Andreas Fault, the plate boundary. Uh, Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet. I don't see uh, anything showing up there, aside from a couple smaller quakes around the uh, Cascades. Yellowstone, nothing. Nothing. Absolutely zero. Let's go ahead and double check that, though, real quick through the Yellowstone overview. Looks like we've got some wind kicking back up here. Uh, but as far as earthquake activity, uh, there may be a couple very small spikes here early this morning, but those are those are super small. I don't even think they're worth mentioning, and USGS not uh, issuing any reports on those either. All right, Texas area oil, oil field still rocking and rolling. Mixed bag of earthquakes from uh, yesterday and today. Out across the area to the east, two earthquakes, both of those from yesterday. Nothing major going on there across the New Madrid seismic zone for now. Uh, look at the uh, last 24 hours and the largest magnitude goes to a 5.2 earthquake uh, across the uh, Japan area. That's the largest magnitude here in the last 24 hours. That was about 2 o'clock this morning. So even since the update last night, seen a number of quakes back over here once again. Uh, obviously building up some strain there across that subduction zone. That uh, could be overdue. Could be uh, seen a mega quake happen on that soon. Now, whether it's overdue or not, those uh, comes in uh, some different uh, intervals. Last decent uh, series of events was back in 1944, so quite a bit of time has passed there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, of course, the Alaska area. Some uptick going on there today with a number of twos and threes. Uh, this 3.1 looks like it's just outside of Anchorage there. Definitely a swarm of activity stirring up out here north of Anchorage in the last 24 hours. We'll keep an eye on that. That's definitely got some uptick going on there. Uh, New Zealand is the quiet zone down here today. This older quake from yesterday as well. So we're looking at a whole area of, uh, well, lack of seismic activity out here. Around Papua New Guinea, eastward here along the plate boundary, all the way down to New Zealand. 3.2 coming in there south into the uh, Indonesia area right now. Uh, there's a swarm of activity across the Andaman Sea. 
And uh, just typical crunching going on out here, so to speak, with earthquake activity there in the uh, typical zones. A little bit more active out here across the Mediterranean today and the Middle East. Um, let's see what we got here. Number of fours out there in that along that plate boundary. Looks like that's going to be over here across uh, the border of Iraq and Iran. 4.0 this morning. But it does look like there's a little swarm of activity stirring up there along the plate boundary. Keep an eye on that. No, definitely noticeable uh, in terms of uptick out here today. Uh, same for the uh, Mediterranean area. It looks like a 4.6 there across the Italy area. Uh, let's go see what's going on there across that region. All right, there's the uh, Mediterranean. That quake over here in Italy uh, looks like it's just around that uh, volcanic field, 4.6, 5 kilometers deep. Uh, you got the uh, Campe Flegre fields out here. I don't see. Yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot of activity out there. Just uh, a little, looks like a little swarm out here. Uh, outside of Naples, there in Italy. Definitely watch that. It's been going on. I mean, it's you get these little earthquake swarms and land rise and subsidence uh, quite often there uh, across that volcanic field, but nothing of any abnormal movement for now, aside from that uh, just that one decent quake across the um, Santorini area. Still getting some earthquake swarming going on, although it's going down. Uh, got about 88 earthquakes or so. Well, maybe a little bit less if you squeeze into this area around the Santorini volcano. Um, wow, it looks like my mouse is just about ready to die. <laughs> it's a little choppy. Couldn't ask for a worse time. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. We'll take a quick glance here at the Earthquake 3D globe once again. Hopefully this holds up. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Way down south, we got some further movement here overnight. Down across the southern end of the uh, Scotia Plate there. It's been quite active. Uh, we had a decent-sized earthquake out there oh, a couple days ago. And pull up the last seven days down here along the plate boundary 6.6 .6. that was back on the 28th a number of earthquakes as well in that same area this could be aftershocks or it could be some adjustment just because of all the activity up north here recently uh, if you go back the last 30 days we've had a swarm of activity here across the subduction zone uh, not a whole lot here through the southern end but that could fill in uh, with this ongoing activity there uh, further south the subduction zone's a little bit easier to see on the oceanic crust map right here, but uh, definitely got to watch this area. It could be uh, uh, adding some further strain right over here across the southern end, and that should fill in. Uh, B flare, man. Well, actually, we're up in the C flare category this time. All right, C 1.0. Uh, aside from that, we were down into the B flare category for a number of days. We do have uh, a couple different regions coming into the Earth directed view. This area back over here, notice that bright feature that is currently flaring with the sea flare that we're uh, seeing. Uh, that is coming off a sunspot, unnamed sunspot back over here it looks like. Not a big deal. This has got some uh, broad coverage area, but this is that area we were tracking here uh, over the last week or so on the far side. A deep, dark uh, circle that we're looking at on the far side imagery. This is that, but uh, you know, it goes to show uh, it's got some coverage, but as far as magnetic structure and complexity goes, I, there's not a whole lot in it right now. Uh, and that was probably one of the former sunspots that were out here a number of times ago. But uh, we'll continue to watch that. It is producing some very low sea flare activity. Uh, aside from that, the rest of these here pretty quiet. Another area back over there on the northeastern quadrant of the... Or uh, extreme eastern area of the sun. That was my ringtone, by the way. <laughs> I have it... Uh, I have my ringtone set as the emergency broadcast alert system. <laughs> Don't ask why. It's just it, I think it's cool. It really it kind of freaks people out when I'm in the, the store or something, do some shopping, and my ringtone goes off. Everyone starts uh, kind of looking at their phone, wondering what's going on. But uh, I don't know. I kind of like it. Before that, I think I had the uh, tornado siren. All right. Uh, nothing major going on there as far as aurora activity goes. We do have a coronal hole number 61. That is currently facing Earth. I don't expect this to do much in terms of uh, aurora activity. 
This should be well south of the Earth Sun plane. Really not expecting much there. As far as any close approach asteroids go to the planet, a bunch of new ones here from 2025, newly discovered ones. Uh, although uh, they're big, there are definitely some big ones out there. They're all millions of miles away. But uh, pretty much every single asteroid on here was recently discovered. Crazy. So we're just always discovering new asteroids out there around the planet. Good to keep a good close eye on them. Storm Prediction Center, got a little bit of severe weather out here across the, um, the west coast. Nothing for some tornado, nothing for tornado activity. Uh, wind, looks like wind's going to be the main threats out here. Uh, up in Oregon and southern, or uh, southern Oregon, northern California, north of Redding, it looks like some activity stirring up. That uh, looks interesting. We've got a 40% chance there are some thunderstorms up there. Uh, but uh, yeah, everyone out there looks like they get a chance of some thunderstorms today. Uh, even down in my neck of the woods, maybe. I've seen a few clouds out there earlier, so I don't know. I may, I, I would love to go up there and catch some of this um, thunderstorm activity today, north of Reading. But uh, it's just hot out. I don't really feel like driving anywhere right now. It's supposed to be close to 100 degrees again. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. We'll take a look here at the numerical model, see if we got any uh, hurricanes that may be of uh, uh, importance out here. Nothing coming into the Gulf there. There's that little system off the coast of Baja. Uh, looks like that's going to dissipate, though, as we head towards the end of this week. Um, yeah, well, there's another one back there across the uh, eastern Pacific. Nothing uh, in the Gulf, though, surprisingly. I think that's got to do with this massive high-pressure system out here. Kind of keeping everything uh, diverted. Of course, I also heard there's some uh, Sahara dust being uh, brought in there across the Atlantic. That uh, does have a tendency there to um, somewhat prevent tropical development. At least that's what they say. But, uh, yeah. Kind of see what happens here with those storms today. It might get something down here in the valley. It would be nice be a little break from the 100 degree temperatures really dry out here as well uh, let's see what we got here for thunderstorms already kicking up here in the cape values up in the uh, trinity mountains uh, in the afternoon time period yeah that's a lot of storms popping up here even along the coastline uh, the unfortunate deal with this is that there's going to be a lot of lightning strikes in the dry conditions out there so there's definitely going to be some rainfall but you know lightning strikes not good I could see some big fires starting with this setup here uh, as far as the current fire conditions let's take a look here and see what we have back out of there a couple fires up around Reading it looks like nothing big for now but look at this absent of fire activity there but I bet you tonight um, after these storms are all said and done there'll be a number of new fires out there unfortunately so it's getting into that time of year southern california not a not a whole lot going on there's a wolf fire down here that uh 1400 acres 10 percent containment still some hot spots being observed here south of the uh, communities that are in an evacuation warning the evacuation order there in the uh, darker well it's kind of pink here on this area so hopefully they get a handle on that. No extreme wind events for now. All right, uh, see if there's anything else going on there. Puerto Rico's still swarming over here. I forgot to check them out, but uh, they've been off and on swarming. Uh, seismograph stations all offline for now. They, uh, they periodically jump on and then go off. Um, I'll tell them what that is. Got another 3.2 alert uh, up in Alaska. Let's see here. USGS picking up on that? Nope, not yet. From the EMSC. But uh, keep an eye up here. It's definitely a lot more active than normal across the Anchorage area. Uh, but overall, you know, if you look at the data today for the largest magnitude, it's been pretty quiet as far as any events go. Aside from that 5.2 in Japan. Uh, the largest magnitude was, looks like a 4.6 4 there in that same area of Japan. I, 
I still think something is uh, brewing out here for the Nankai Trough or in the vicinity of this as uh, far as larger magnitudes go, but you know, definitely watch it. I mean, there's no way to know for sure, but with all the time that has passed and all the earthquake activity happening around it, you know, it's um, definitely uh, coming up here for uh, a big quake, I think. All right, I better get go get going before my mouse dies out here. I gotta replace the batteries. Have a good one. We'll see you guys out here a little bit later. A little earthquake there coming in to, to uh, Japan right now. A couple on the Mendocino station. There's at least three of them there, but uh, the USGS, you know, won't mention that. Any of the smaller quakes are happening down there for whatever reason. It's mainly 2.5 and above being reported for this area. Certain regions down south, it's different, but they have these sectioned out here to where certain magnitudes only show up in certain areas. I don't know why you think it'd be transparent and every magnitude would show up here, but that's just the way they have it. Uh, I've been watching these seismograph stations for many years, and uh, when earthquakes pop up here like this, uh, for the most part, won't show up, but there's definitely earthquake activity happening up here. There's that three-pointer along the Aleutian Trench. That's yeah, that's right there across that subduction zone. So watch this area, too. All right, have yourself a wonderful uh, Monday here. We'll see you guys out here a little bit later on. Unless something major happens, we'll catch you guys back out here for the Monday evening update. Take care.